Welcome friends. We are obviously not in the studio today. We are in Mexico City. And we came to Mexico City to do a bunch of things, but one of them is to eat, of course. <laughs> and tonight we're going to eat tacos al pastor. So we came to this part of the city earlier in the day and we checked out a bunch of the al pastor places as they were setting up. We watched them put together the trompo, carry the trompo out and put it in, and uh, we learned a lot. So now we're going to go and eat some al pastor. Come on. Here we go. That's really good. That's pretty tasty. That is really good. Mm -hmm. I was a little worried about the salsa. It might have been too hot, but it's not. Not at all. Really flavorful. Okay, so this is only the first of the night. So this is the first. We only ordered two. Because there's like a dozen Al Pastor places along this street. So we're going to hit a few of them. We're going to compare them as much as we can. I'm sure they're all different. Because what I, my understanding is there's four different kinds of El Pastor. And I have to imagine that of the places along the street, most of them would do something I'm gonna different. I'm going to say all you're going to get from us though when we're rating is that's really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good. Okay. You know. Move on. Hotter, please. Yep. And I definitely want onions and cilantro. Yeah. So this is tacos. El Pastorcito. Did you put lime on mine? I did put some lime on Excellent. Yours. Okay. So here we go. I think it's quite interesting. So they use a, a different type of, a different combination of spices. But happy nonetheless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Was there such a thing as a bad al pastor taco? So far, not one that I've had. Julie's done already. I really like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the pineapple in it. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to our next stop on the street. Because we've only gone a couple blocks. Not even. <laughs> so the adventure shall continue. Off to the next place.
Our Spanish, okay. not so great. So here we are, El Gabacho, Spanish, not so great. Um, and you dress it with uh, onion and cilantro. And so uh, cilantro, onion. I had that. Wonderful, crispy. And again, at this place, the uh, the trompo is more of a yellow than a bright orange or a red, which is interesting. And uh, a little bit of salsa. No salsa? Um, I'm going to go uh, freeform and go with the... Uh, <laughs> not the green. A little bit of limo. <laughs> Mine's too big. I'm going to make a mess. Good. Okay. That salsa is definitely uh, spicier than the last one I had. Did you, you have the did have the red or the green? Then what's giving it the bite, man? Because it's got a bite in it. Yeah, no. Because I didn't put any on. Now that you say that, and remind me, I did not put any on. But there's a yeah, bite to this. There's a bite. It's really good. Like the the flavor is again completely different than the other places. I can see how you would eventually find the one that you like best and favor that one all the time. Go back, go back, go back. Oh yeah. There's enough variation that you're going to find one that completely fits your fits. your flavor profile. And I've learned Tacos El Pastor is not one thing. It's not a monolith. It is a completely it's open to interpretation. As long as you put the as long as you put the meat on the trumpet. Build it with some onions. And, yeah. Okay. Let's finish these and keep moving. There's a bunch more to eat. Where's the dress? Dos tacos pastor. Thank you. Okay, so this place is uh, a little bit different than the other ones that we've been to. They didn't slice it off the trompo, they'd already taken it off and they cooked it on a flat top. So it should be crispy. So it's crispy. And I know that there's a lot of people who like that crispy and that's the one that they want. So let's give it a go. And our Spanish failed some more. Our Spanish failed. <laughs> we have a lot more to eat. We ended up with more than we wanted. We'll be okay. I'm going to try the, the rojo on one because I've got that two. I'm going to hit the lime. There's a really good green salsa here. It looks like tomatillo. Okay. You're going to go with the tomatillo? Uh, well, I'm going to test just to, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. You like the crispy? Crispy, but I don't think the meat is as flavorful. It is very different. It's yeah, completely it's, different. It is completely Again. different. Like it is way off. The others are sort of side by each, different but side by each, and this one is way on the outside, which could be if you really like it, that's what you come for. Mm -hmm. This one maybe not so much to my liking, in comparison to the other ones that we've had tonight. No, well, we'll just keep trying. Mm -hmm. Eat up, there's more to eat. So I'm completely stopped. 
But Glenn has talked me into having one more taco. One so, more. One more. <laughs> and you know what? For my flavor, I think this was my favorite. Hence, we've returned to the first. So we've returned to the first one to try it again. Just to make sure. It's going to be messy. This place is packed. This place really is packed. What do you think? We're very good. I think we can do this at home. I've got a couple of beer kegs in the basement. Of course you think we can do this at home. I've got a couple of beer kegs. <laughs> and I think I could build a charcoal fired one of these. Okay. And we could do this in the backyard and have just a rip roaring party. Okay, that that trompo is too big. <laughs> we might have to make the trompo a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. Because when we were here earlier in the day and they were let me wait. And they were putting that thing together. Had to have weighed, I don't know, 300 pounds. There's a lot of meat on that. Yeah, that's too much. <laughs> so we're gonna make a smaller one. I'm gonna see if Ooh. I can turn a full-size beer keg into a charcoal burning Al Pastor vertical spit. Projects, my friend. I've got a project. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish this, um, and sometime in the next few weeks, you're gonna see me try to weld and cut steel and build something. We'll see how that goes. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your tacos. See you again soon.